The word Jehovah comes from the entity known as the Jehovani Collective. So think of them as an Ascended Master Collective Consciousness. Metatron is a part of the Jehovani Collective. Consider Metatron to be like a child of the Jehovani Collective. The Jehovani Collective created the original eternal life founders races, the Elohai, Seraphai, and Braharama that originally seeded this 15 dimensional universal time matrix for the first time 950 billion years ago. So there's been three seedings and this was the first seeding 950 billion years ago. Part of the collective's consciousness commissioned to Stargate 11. So there was a part of the consciousness that they commissioned to protect Universal Stargate 11. Through repeated free will choice, this collective digressed from source. The DNA became distorted and they chose to cut themselves off from the source of all energy. So it's thing from 12 to 11 that all of a sudden, boom, there was a cut and they didn't have the energy flowing to them anymore through repeated free will choice. This is what caused the creation of a black hole in this universe 250 billion years ago. So anytime this happens, they send a rehabilitation attempt. They give them a choice to rehabilitate their DNA, to reconnect to source. However, the entire Metatron collective fell. And the Jehovani, the parents of Metatron, decided to send in more than 50% of its quanta or its energy into this time matrix on a rescue mission to rescue their children or Metatron. Eventually, the entire Jehovani collective fell. They cut themselves off from source. More than 50% of their energy went into fall. So they started to blame the other Ascended Master collectives for their fall, which happened through free will choice. And this is actually where victim mode first started and a war broke out in heaven. The Jehovani Collective made a decision that it would utilize its knowledge of first creation physics. Remember, they were part of source. They had knowledge and access to mathematics. And they decided they were gonna create their own mathematical system and take over this universal time matrix. So they changed the mathematics of eternal life, first creation 12 to base 10. And so the base 10 math actually consumes energy to create energy, therefore eventually running out of energy. Therefore, everything currently in nature dies because it runs out of energy because it's following a base 10 sequence. And the Jehovani Metatron Collective are the ones who did this after they fell because they needed to vampire energy in order to survive. So they have elaborate systems set up on earth and universes to feed themselves energy because they chose through free will choice to cut themselves off from the source of all energy. And this is why in Jewish mysticism, if you look at the Kabbalah tree of life currently, there's 10 Sephora or 10 circles. This is the finite life code. Prior to this, the eternal life code was 12 circles, 12 Sephora, following an eternal life sequence where it's always connected to source. The 12 is still there. There was no cut and the energy flows from source, but it always returns to source, therefore not consuming energy to create energy, therefore has eternal life. And this is where the fall happened. Since then, our universe has been in a black hole fall system consuming energy to create energy, being siphoned. So when someone worships Jehovah or Metatron, they are literally giving their life force energy, attention or worship to the entity, the false creator gods, rather than directly to the source, which is already within them. Part of the yod He vav He Yahweh name has also been used by fallen members of the Jehovani Avatar Collective in order to deceive humans into surrendering their life force energy or worshiping them, the fallen Jehovani Collective from which the word Jehovah comes from. At this point, they are simply trying to feed on whatever energy is available to remain immortal, not eternal. So as long as they feed off of other people's energy and have these elaborate energy suck systems, 
they can continue to survive and live and be immortal. But that is not the same as eternal. So the Jehovani Metatron and yod heh vav -Heh, Yahweh entities are self-appointed false creator gods from the fallen matrix and are trying to stay alive and remain immortal by deceiving humanity to give its worship energy to them. And they did this by purposefully destroying all of the true eternal life records, ascension teachings. Then they changed the mathematics and current history books and appointed themselves as false creator gods. And anytime humanity forgets, the Eternals re-release the eternal life wisdom. This has been attempted to be released to humanity many, many times. So that all of humanity will have the opportunity to rehabilitate their DNA using eternal life techniques and return to source as source wholeness by embodying their soul, embodying their oversoul and embodying their avatar Christo self or the original 12 stranded DNA. And so humanity is at a very important inflection point in its history. People's higher selves are going to come online and they're going to have a choice, free will choice, the greatest gift ever given to humanity. Am I going to choose to worship false creator gods, abide by a finite life mathematical system, base 10, choose hierarchy where every step down the pyramid doesn't even know less, 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 and abide by fear, force, greed, and a false patriarchal masculine God in the sky that is separate from us or to choose eternal life, base 12 mathematics, decentralized spirituality, transparency, respect, unity, and omnipolar love. And the truth must be known for there to be balance and the truth will set you free. Your attention is your currency. Where you choose to put your attention is what you are choosing to worship. Choose ye this day to put your attention on the universal force all around us, in us, through us, for us. And if God is for us, who could ever be against us?